I want to give you a quick tip on how to prep and install an intake manifold gasket. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube, but they don't show you how to prep it and install it. I'll show you my method. Just, uh, whatever you do is up to your discretion. This is how I do it. Now, what I do is I take paper towels. About not too big, just enough to uh, stuff in the uh, open holes. And uh, I put it in each each hole before I clean it. I leave the valve covers on. They're unbolted. If I leave them on, reason being so I don't get any dirt or metal shavings or whatever could possibly fly around while you're doing the job. Uh, go to spray the sides off with uh, brake clean. Clean them off. Then I'll scrape the RTV sealant off so I make room for fresh RTV sealant. I'll use a surface conditioning disc on an angle grinder whatever you call this and I'll clean up the surfaces you want to make sure your mating surfaces are really clean so I'm going to give you a real good look of a dirty surface and I'll show you it after I clean it All right, let the cleaning begin. Here we're in the midst of the uh, cleaning. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. There's a side I did. Versus the side that needs to be cleaned. And I forgot to tell you that I also put newspaper on top of the block around the uh, lifters and push rods. So all this dirt, as you can see, all the dirt and debris keeps it out from going down to the end, bottom of the block. So, and also those rags, you can see they're doing their job. There's some debris in there. I don't know if you can see it too well. So, they're doing their job. So I'll show you the final product after I'm done. Alright, I clean both sides off. And I'm going to blow the engine off with air. Because when you, re when you use a surface conditioning disc, it actually takes off some metal and you don't want that to get down to the engine. Okay. When you did that, we're going to remove the valve covers. We're going to take some carbon choke cleaner the top of the newspaper so it holds the uh, the metal shavings down and the debris and dirt that we're going to pull out paper towels make sure you get them all because if you don't it's going to cause an engine performance problem or destroy the engine I don't know I never did it I know it's not good for it Every newspapers. Discard the newspapers and paper towels.
Yes, I do go a little overboard. But I always say it's better to be safe than sorry. Then wipe down all your clean mating surfaces and prep it with the intake manifold gaskets. All right, inspect the mating surfaces on the intake manifold. Make sure it's all clean. Now we prepare it for the intake gasket. Here's the intake gasket. The older one was thinner and not as heavy duty. It didn't have this metal plate in it and this says a little thicker of a gasket. So this one's pretty easy because I got a tab there and a tab there to line up and hold it in place. Some intake manifold gaskets don't have that. It'll be sliding all over the place, you have to line it up. It'll be a real pain, but this one's not. So, take these two tabs, line them up right here. One, two. Make sure you're keeping everything clean. See, so it won't slide all over the place. Then we'll put our RTV sealant. Now on this, I guess I didn't tell you, this is a 5.7 Vortec engine. It's in a Tahoe. 98 98 Tahoe and for whatever reason everything needs to be thick I think it's a warpage issue it's not too bad of a warp issue where you just put thicker gaskets on it that's what we're doing all right now we apply our TV sealant you should apply this before you put the intake manifold gaskets on Put it on thick. Make sure you get that corner pretty good. I was told by GM Tech, on these engines you want to put it on real thick. Make sure it gets a nice seal. Get those corners nice and good too. Intake manifold gaskets on. Making sure everything's clean. Like I said, make sure that's nice and thick. Now we install the intake manifold. Sure everything lines up. Now we put our new intake manifold bolts in. Using a thread thread locker. Then you torque it down with a torque wrench. You can get your torque specs. Let me turn this light off too bright. Looks something like this. 
you see that too well. And then I'll have a torque sequence. Something like this. So you have a good idea how I'm getting my specs. Alright. Thanks for watching. Please comment below.